Well, everything starts at home. It's not just where the heart is, it's where the start is. It's where um, children learn the love of learning. It doesn't happen in school, it's accentuated maybe in school. So parents have a lot of power around developing empathy and re developing resilience in children. And just listening to the children and being still. And, you know, every parent says to the children, well, how are things going and how are you feeling? But children often feel that they're being interrogated and they maybe don't know how to start to tell you. So for parents, it's really helpful if they start with sharing themselves, to share with the child your vulnerability. You know, when we share vulnerability, the person with whom we're sharing loves us. It's a very special trust. So if the parent says, I'm having a very frustrating day today. I can't seem to get my act together. I haven't been able to get the report I need to do to work. How's your day going? So children will open up and feel respected if parents trust them with how they're feeling because it's about how you feel. That's where our connection is in humanity. And um, if we want to restore our capacity to learn and be joyful and to connect with one another, we have to be able to share how we feel. And parents are the initial teachers of emotional literacy. And they do it initially by reading their baby's cues at two days old. But as the child gets older, we need to find ways to engage the child and invite safety and even share the words for your emotions. You know, for a parent to say to a child, I feel so confused about what to do next, what to do first. It gives the child permission to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, we hear back from parents about this. 